I am Pixel Dan, and this is a review of the Nickelodeon Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Pizza Thrower. That's right, the Pizza Thrower is another one of those iconic Ninja Turtles vehicles. And it is seeing a brand new version right here in the Nick Turtles lineup. So let's check this bad boy out. As you can see, he comes in boxed packaging, featuring some of that awesome artwork right there on the front of the box of some of the Ninja Turtles action figures driving this new version of the pizza thrower. And when you flip that box around to the back side, we get a look at all the contents within. Now, upon opening up the box, you will notice that there is some minor assembly required. Luckily, there is a sheet of instructions that will help guide you through the process, but it is a very simple build. Basically, all of the pieces just snap together, and once they're put together, you don't have to worry about them coming back apart again. There is a small sheet of stickers that you'll need to assemble, and the stickers are very easy to put on. Uh, the most repetitive part is that you do have to put stickers on all 10 of the included pizza discs. But once you get all of those stickers put on there and everything put together, this right here is what we end up with. This is the brand new version of the Pizza Thrower. Now, longtime Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles fans might remember that they've had Pizza Throwers in past Turtles lines. That's right, this thing dates all the way back to the original Ninja Turtles toy line. The Pizza Thrower was always one of those vehicles that everybody remembers having. It even saw a brand new version in the 2003 lineup, and it's even been reused for other toy lines like Playmates Chicken Run line, which is crazy. So this is definitely not the first version of the Pizza Thrower, and while it operates very similar to the old one, it's worth noting that it is still a very different vehicle. It's not reusing any of the molds from the old one, it's brand new, even though the shape and design is similar. So let's check this thing out. First of all, I gotta really talk about how great this thing looks as far as all the colors and the details go. You gotta love how this has got that classic Turtles thing going on where it looks like just a hodgepodge of random parts and pieces put together to kind of make this crazy vehicle. Looks like something that Donatello would have actually built himself. And I love the variants and colors here. Uh, one of the things that you yeah, don't see very often in the new Nick Turtles toy line is a lot of paint deco, unfortunately, but the pizza thrower here has quite a lot going on. Um, you can see there's a lot of great painted parts here. Uh, the front of it kind of looks like it's uh, made from the front of a scooter, and it's got this great teal blue color, but also you can see that the handlebars are black, the brakes are silver, and uh, in that hodgepodge fashion, the rear view mirrors are even different from one another. I thought that was kind of cool. So we got this nice bench seat here, kind of on this green base. You get a little propane tank down here at the bottom. Um, and there's some really fun details working all the way around this thing. Uh, you can see part of the sculpt on the side. There's a little uh, fire extinguisher. Uh, here's something I really love. There is a menu for a pizza restaurant right there. That's one of your stickers, too. And while the text is too small to actually read what's on that menu, that's a pretty nice touch. I love that. You can see the uh, Hot and Fresh logo right there from uh, a pizza shop. And of course, Danger uh, Natural Gas. So it's like a big uh, tank, gas tank right here that they've got sitting on top. Uh, you can see the big jets off the back for the engine there. we got the nice engine piece as well. Um, and then this little part on the back that looks like two pizza boxes stacked up has a peg on it. Because uh, this is actually a platform for one of your turtles to stand on. Coming around to the other side here, this is a fun little piece that I wasn't expecting. It actually comes with three removable pizza cooking tools. That's right, look at this. You can pop these right off the side and any of the turtles can hold on to them. And these are essentially oven tools for pizzas. So, you know, it's like the, uh, the big spatula that you would use to slide the pizza into the oven and stuff like that. I thought that was just a really fun, neat little thing to add on this. Uh, they just clip on there on the side when you're not using them, but you can also fit them in any of your Ninja Turtles hands, which is pretty cool. Now, the pizza thrower does, of course, take batteries. Um, you will notice that the battery slot is on the underside of the top portion. You'll need a screwdriver to open that up. It just takes a few AA batteries, so you'll want to get that uh, put in there before actually using this. And then we do have an on-off switch right here on the side, so that way it'll trigger our action feature. And before we get into that, let's look at some more of the details up here. I love how the top of it kind of looks like an oven. We got the nice little uh, stove pipe here coming off the side, which has got some really nice color. I mean, it's black and has a nice gunmetal silver on top. Uh, you 
you can see the temperature gauge on the top. We got a nice little turtle shell motif. Um, the part on the back here is like a little oven piece. You can see it actually moves up and down. So you can open this up. You can slide one of the pieces onto the back here. And as you close it, kind of send it under the oven. That's kind of fun. And then, of course, you've got the round circle in here where we're going to insert our turtles discs or our pizza discs. Um, very similar to the old one. So if you ever played with the original one, you know exactly how this works. And for the last fun little detail on the side, straight out of the Nick Turtles cartoon series is Pizza Face. That's right. Pizza Face is hanging off the side, has a nice fun little paint deco here, and he doubles as the button on this, which we're going to use to fire off those pizza discs. So we get 10 of those pizza discs included. Um, and then they're kind of neat looking. They're very similar to the old ones. Uh, the big difference here is that every single pizza is exactly the same. They're all just uh, pepperoni pizzas. It uh, looks like there's a little bit of garnish on there as well. I do kind of miss the original pizza thrower uh, pizza discs because all of the pizza toppings were different. And they had some really funky ones like ice cream pizza and stuff. Would have been fun to see that included, but that's just a minor nitpick. Um, these are still very cool. And uh, 10 of them is very nice to have. You can just stack them right there on the top. Um, you can see they kind of stick out of the top just a little bit there. And now you've got it all armed up and ready to go. Now, we do have the ability to put a couple turtles on the vehicle. Of course, you got to put one up here in the front to drive the vehicle. So we'll go ahead and put uh, Leonardo here. Um, you can get him to grip onto the handlebars on the front, just like so. And now he can drive the pizza thrower. And then, like I showed you on the back, we've got that little platform. Uh, you got a little peg there so you can, you know, stick Raph or any of the other turtles there. And he can actually hold on to that little pizza oven part as the handlebar on the back of the vehicle. So we get Raf on there just like that. And now our turtles are ready for action. So we've got our turtles riding the pizza thrower. We've looked at all the amazing details on this thing. I'm sure at this point, you guys are ready to see this thing in action. It's really amazing how it works. So we've got it flipped on over here on this side. So all you have to do to fire this thing off is press pizza face. And it works just like this. Boom! Did you see that? It was really fast. Keep a watch on it. Here we go again. Oh, it's so cool. It's got a nice little motor in there. So it's a motorized projectile. It really flings these discs. And they go sailing. I mean, they soar. So, so cool. They spin in the air. They go a really far distance. You've got 10 of them, so you can keep reloading in the top here. And just fire them off at the foot. Any of the bad guys, the Krang, whoever you want to bash with it. Just... As a safety precaution, remember kids, don't fire this at your friends or your parents, definitely in people's faces, and don't shoot your dog or your cat. You could hurt somebody with it, but still really fun, and they're just lightweight little discs, so you're probably not going to hurt anybody too bad, but yeah, you know the rules, guys. Don't shoot at anybody. Instead, shoot it at the bad guys. Look, we'll bring in Bebop and Rocksteady here, and that way we can get a good look at how this is going to work. Now, it's worth noting that the disc shooter is up a little high. So if you're going to want to shoot the smaller guys that are down on the ground, you will have to kind of lean this forward just a little bit. Um, but it will shoot, you know, like up high or any of the flying vehicles maybe. But here we go. Just so you can see how this works. Boom! Take that Bebop and Rocksteady. Oh, you guys are getting back up? Oh, you want some more of this? Oh, pizza time! <laughs> I love it. It is so much fun. Shooting those discs is a total blast. And hey, these can even double as pizzas for your turtles. So now Mikey's got some pizzas to munch on to. All right, so I kept talking about that vintage one. So let's do this. It's comparison time. I went ahead and brought in the vintage pizza thrower so you can see these two side by side. And just like I stated, it's very similar in design, but you can see that they are different. They function pretty much the same way. Um, they fire discs the same way. You got the same push button. Um, here, let me show you one of these pizzas, though, because uh, I talked about this. Look at this. You got that awesome ice cream pizza. I love that about the vintage ones. Now, something else I want to show you guys, because I know you're going to probably wonder about this. Do the new discs work in the old pizza thrower and vice versa? Well, unfortunately, the old discs are slightly bigger than the new discs. Um, you can fit the old ones in the pizza thrower and you can kind of get them to fire out, but it's worth noting they might get stuck. See that? 
See how it's stuck? It didn't come out. And it didn't shoot very far. So, unfortunately, the old ones don't really work with the new pizza thrower. So there you go, my friends. There is a look at the brand new pizza thrower vehicle, part of the Nick Turtles lineup. This vehicle is a total win. I love it. It's got amazing design. It's got great details on there. Nice paint job, fun stickers. It functions very well. And that pizza throwing action feature is classic, but it never gets old. It is so much fun to play with. And I'm so happy to see them bring back this iconic vehicle to the Nick Turtles lineup. The brand new pizza thrower is starting to hit store shelves right now. So happy hunting, my friends. And until next time.